Hello, uh, welcome to the Gamer Guide channel. I am not dead. I am actually uh, still around and living through the coronavirus pandemic like you all. But I thought today we'd play a little bit of uh, Cross Out here on the uh, channel. And uh, just going through the special event, we have this Battlefield event. If you guys have been playing Cross Out at all, uh, you probably have been aware of it. Where you can earn some special paints and uh, the new Soul Duck, um, if you are aware. And I figured I'd give you guys some tips on uh, playing Battlefield here if you need some. Uh, or you can just watch for the fun of it as I uh, get my uh, paint and my uh, soul duck. Uh, I'm going to play Scout. I like Scout. It's uh, probably the least powerful weapon out on the battlefield, but uh, it's nimble and quick. And uh, you can pull some tactical stuff. It's harder to do in some of the slower vehicles. So we'll go and take it out. And uh, I'll probably just play a couple games. Just the games where I... Um, get my paint and get my duck and uh, then we'll talk a little bit about some things you could do to help boost your score uh, first thing first I always like to try to grab two points at the beginning if possible I know a lot of people are real adamant about uh, having the whole team together in one place but if uh, you can get two points that puts you in a lot better position to uh, increase your score whenever somebody on your team gets a kill so if you're not familiar with this uh, Battlefield game, the way it works is um, capturing the, the points, A, B, and C, doesn't actually give you any points. But what it does is it uh, every time you get a kill, it will either um, give you one, two, three, or four points, depending on how many diamonds you have underneath that little bar at the top where it says zero on both red and blue right now. Uh, so the idea is you want to capture as many points. Uh, you always have one, so no matter... You know what? You always get one point for kills, but if you have all three of the uh, different points out there, well, then you're going to capture. You're going to get four points for every kill you get instead of just one point. So, basically, how many ever diamonds your team has, that's how many points you're getting per kill. So it's much easier for your teammates who carry the heavy duty uh, gear, like this rocket launcher guys, probably our major DPS uh, over to my right, can really rack up the uh, kills and get uh, more points per capita. So right now we have uh, three diamonds. That means every time we kill someone we get three points. Red is only going to get two points per kill. And so uh, that's why it's important to grab points. A lot of people will make the mistake of uh, kind of ignoring it. They get into the fun part of like fighting and they forget. Um, yeah, if we don't have points, we're only getting one where every time they get a kill, even though they might not kill us often, they're getting four points for every one of ours. So that's why it's so important. So I usually play Scout because uh, I don't mind running around the map and I can usually uh, do some fire support at range and I'm pretty good at uh, shot too with the auto cannons, the jewels. Uh, jewels is a, a brand new auto cannon they put out in a recent patch if you're not familiar. It's probably one of my favorite uh, for energy weapons. Uh, they did a, a little bit of a damage reduction in the last patch. Uh, they thought it was a little too powerful. And the thing I like about Jewels too is, is that they have this automatic uh, quick fire rate, which is kind of almost like uh, the mid grade fire on a cyclone. Uh, they don't speed up anymore and they're not quite as powerful, but uh, they do pretty great damage. Uh, now, here in the battlefield, you don't really have any coolers, so you have to wait kind of a long cooldown. I'm going to hide behind my teammates here. Hopefully, that guy doesn't uh, take my last point. One other thing you can do too um, is if you get real damaged and uh, you've been in a fight, you lost a gun like I did here, is uh, spend a little time away from the enemies uh, where they haven't hit you for a little bit and uh, then go ahead and self-destruct and that will deny them points. And that's a good way to keep um, the other team from gaining points. You don't want to just get points for your team. You also want to deny the other team points. So right here I'm going to self-destruct. You'll notice that when I blow up, there's no points gained for the red team. And... Uh, so that was uh, basically a, a way to get my wheels back and get my two guns back and uh, do some good without just giving the enemy team points. So keep that in mind. You know, if you can self-destruct uh, on after capturing a point or something like that, uh, best to do it too. A lot of times I will see uh, newer players or kind of inexperienced players uh, run around without weapons uh, or just sit on the battlefield not really know what to do. If you're not familiar, you can just hit the backspace and hold the backspace button and that will let you self-destruct in... Um, battlefield and in any mode too so if you're you know want to suicide and blow up um, you can also do damage to enemies by uh, holding down the backspace button 
So if you're new to cross out, a little tip for you there too. Uh, if you've lost all your weapons, at least you have the ability to maybe do a couple damage as your generator, your ammo, all that kind of stuff. Uh, it's a little bit damage to it. So uh, one other little tip, like whenever you see someone dying from your enemy team, there's probably some enemies around. So what I like to do is I try to shoot uh, where I see someone on my enemy, uh, on my allied team, just died, or anytime you see on the horizon. Um, the mandrakes going off and they're not tagged as blue go ahead and shoot in that direction too with uh, if you're playing scout at least the other um, class I like to play is the cricket launcher basically uh, I play that occasionally too but uh, lately I've just been enjoying playing these uh, jewels as they're pretty fun and you can really maneuver around and get some pretty good kills let's we'll see if we can get a couple hooks on this guy so we can at least get the assist and add a couple points to our total volume. There we go. Alright, we're going to go and jump here on B and uh, make sure we get another point or at least keep one. As we just uh, lost one recently, so we'll get back to three for every kill instead of two for every kill. Someone's always going to have the advantage since there's an odd number of points, so. That's one of the, the keys to winning. And then the great thing about Scout is you're really just trying to concentrate on uh, grabbing points. And uh, whatever you can help out to, go ahead and do that. Ouch, I got really uh, put a hurt on me. Let's see if I can get the kill here before they take me out. As I got uh, lost a couple of wheels. Okay, well not quite. A little too, too long for recovery. There we go, we got a kill right there. And maybe the tank too. Oops. This guy's probably going to try to suicide on me. Nope. Just trying to see if he can do collision damage, I guess. Alright, let's get a couple more pops. Ooh. Ooh, I think somebody saved me right there. Alright, another great opportunity right here to uh, deny the other team points. So I'll probably hide behind a rock here and self-destruct. And uh, hopefully no one will hit me here at the last minute, but that should help uh, deny the other team points. Well, there's still a gain of two there. I'm not sure if that was from me or not, but I still need my cannons back, and it's hard to get anywhere without wheels. Okay, we are back. Let's see. We got our uh, options open here. We could either C or A as far as picking up uh, some new base. So we're going to go ahead and run over to C real quick and see if we can pick up a point uncontested. A lot of times people do not uh, guard these points, and we're actually down right now, too. They have all the points, so should be pretty easy to uh, get this as they're probably just going after us right now for kills as they uh, get a whole four points every time they kill one of us and we get only uh, one point but we are up we're up uh, 42 to 21 so I'm not too worried about them catching up and it looks like we're capturing C2 so it should be in pretty good shape here Or A2 is what I meant. Okay, I'm on C. There we go. All right, so we got that. Oops, someone's coming in. Get a couple hits on him here. You can sometimes uh, get these Mandrake launchers. Oh, you got me again. Pretty good. But you have to uh, really maneuver and kind of get around the corners right before they're about to shoot. Another thing you can do is try to hug uh, the Mandrake uh, launchers. Uh, try to get close to him or stay to the side. Oops. Alright, well, we got a couple guys over here. At least I'm tying them up. So if they're fire chasing me and they're trying to kill me, they're not uh, out capturing points. So another little tip. Looks like I'm uh, fighting a lost battle, but actually I'm just keeping these two guys busy right now. Alright. We're getting pretty close to winning. We are almost at 50. Alright. Oh, there we go. Somebody got the final kill. Good game. And let's see how we scored here. Okay, so I got 40 points in that match. And most of that came from just capturing points. So, you know, when you're playing Scout, it's always a good idea to get out there and uh, pick up as many points as possible. You're always going to be able to aid a little bit too. You can get a good, some good assists because uh, you can really hit people across the map. And we picked up the new uh, Winter Camo. Let's go ahead and give that a try. This uh, that I have on here here right now is a uh, like bullet shell paint that I picked up too from the event. You have to win 40 games to get that. Uh, let's see, I think this is a legendary paint, so let's see, let's scroll up a little bit more. Yeah, here it is. 
Winter camo. Let's check it out. That looks pretty nice. I don't know. I actually kind of like the uh, epic paint better than this. You know, I guess colors are sort of subjective. What makes something like a legendary? It makes something an epic or a special. Because honestly, some of my favorite paints are the special paints. Um, I, you know, versus guns where you can actually numerically tabulate like what is the best gun. When it comes to paint, it really just comes down to opinion. I have uh, 26 more points to get here, and I've jumped ahead a little bit into the future to play some more games. Um, that I figured I wouldn't burden you with, but uh, we'll go ahead and give it a try here and see if we can get the remaining 26 points. Let's see if the wait time is accurate or close to accurate this time. It says uh, average waiting time 16 seconds, and uh, that wasn't too bad. It did jump up to 22 there at the end. Usually I'm waiting a couple of minutes to get into a match. All right, let's see. We'll go with Scout again this time. Uh, Mortar Man's a lot of fun, and I play some Cannoneer sometimes too when I want to uh, play with the Mandrakes, but uh, I'm not really a big fan of the tanks. All right, I'm probably going to try to see if no one else does it. We'll kind of see what they do. A lot of people uh, don't speak English in this game, so I like to just watch what people do here at the beginning. And if everybody starts heading off towards A, I will usually be the person to go to C. Uh, but no, we got a couple people going to see. We don't need everybody to go there. I like to try to make sure we can capture both points if possible. Or at least put up a fight to uh, get both A and C so we can be up that one point per kill uh, at the beginning when we first meet the enemies. Most people won't venture off uh, to A or C. Oh, got a little leg there. Uh, a or B, rather. Uh, they usually will contest C, but usually you don't see enemies like driving right up to either B or A if they're from the opposite team. They usually will wait for the rest of their team. But one thing you can do is try to shell uh, real good, especially if you see where somebody is firing rockets from. Ooh, he got me, but I got a couple hits on him too. Uh, you know, and the mortar, mortar guy also lit me up, so not a great start there. But I'll often get uh, first hit on people uh, with these auto cannons. I think it gives you a couple bonus points if you uh, hit the enemy team first. Alright, we're going to play a little aggressively. I'm going to run right up here on B as it seems like they don't have all their team there. They probably have one or two and most people want to see as uh, they kind of held our guys off to the side. Those two guys are still kind of not sitting on cap. And yeah, look, I only saw one guy here. So we're going to go ahead and try to light him up and get a couple points here. That's one thing you can do uh, against these uh, cricket launchers is uh, try to buzz them in the front. Oop, we lost all our, oops, we lost all our uh, weaponry. So I guess I'll just self-destruct on them and get a couple bonus points. That should at least be good for a assist. Yeah, plus two. I'm not sure if that uh, gave me any points or not. Let's see what uh, what happened. Yeah, I got two. I got uh, credit for that. All right, we're going to go ahead and uh, lay down some fire here on C. I'm going to try to help these guys who've been sitting off the cap uh, capture the base. They're probably keeping their distance because the other team's uh, using a lot, a lot of the jewel uh, launchers too. There we go. I think we got this guy. All right, one down. And uh, one thing you can also do is try to stall the other vehicles so the guys with the cannons can actually get a hit on them. He's probably taking me down. Yeah, I was trying to self-destruct on him. That guy's a pretty good player. I played with him uh, in the game before this, before I started recording. And uh, we were kind of running together. So uh, anyway, what is it? Uh, bird Grinder? Bird? Yeah, Bird Grinder. He's a pretty good player. So he got me on that one. All right, got seven points so far. Getting some assists in there and uh, helping capture some points. Let's go ahead and grab A. The other team's actually up on us right now, so that's not great. But uh, we're still close enough where I think we can pull this out. So whenever you're playing scout, pretty much always you know be capturing. And then when you see situations like this, uh, just lay down some supporting fire too. So we'll at least uh, be an assist if somebody does manage to finish them off. Alright, let's see if we can get a couple more hits on that guy. Yeah, they're firing back too. 
Would not be surprised if they come over here next. Ooh, somebody stunk up on me. I'll go and strafe him a little bit. Uh-oh, got their whole enemy team here. Not great, not a great choice on my part to uh, stay here. Might be able to get this guy out, there we go. Got one, one kill. All right, lost our guns. But uh, at least we, at least we got a little couple points there. We're probably gonna last lose that cat, but we did tie them up for a little bit longer. So hopefully, uh, we can capture the other two points while they take the one. All right, we just got C, and uh, we're slowly slipping on A. I'm gonna go see if I can support a little bit here. Could also, I'm kind of tempted to go get B as it's uncontested. So we can just kind of sneak in and grab it. All right, there's one of the guys. Let's see if we can take Frankie Boy out. And he went for me immediately because he knows I'm the biggest threat here. Whenever you're playing a scout, it's usually best to try to take out the other scouts first because uh, tanks, mortar men, all the other guys, snipers even, they have a hard time. Uh, capturing, catching you if you are a good driver, basically. That guy just run off? He probably went around the other way. There he is. Alright, we've got a couple more points here. Alright, looks like A, we're in good shape on. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, jump over to B now. Let's we'll see if we can get that one. Right now we're getting uh, three points for every kill. And red's only getting two, so we're in good shape here. But if I can get us to four, that's even better. Alright, they just jumped up to three, so this will just be kind of counteracting that and getting us back to three. As this is probably an uncontested spot. Play it safe here. I'm just kind of keep an eye out. Make sure that no one's sneaking up on me. Alright, I see some enemies over there. I'm going to try to get a couple hits on them. So we do have to go over there and face them. Uh, we have the advantage. I guess pretty camo against those buildings, but I can kind of make them out. There we go. And that tank is uh, a little closer, so I'll just kind of see where he's where he's looking. There we go. Let's get here between the uh, the buildings. Let's see if we can't finish him off. It's getting pushed by the tank. Oh, that was the uh, enemy's mortar, so you need to watch out for... There we go, got him. You need to watch out for uh, Mortar Man. There he is, I see uh, the fire in the distance. You can barely make it out, but whenever you see those little torches on the horizon, you know that's where the enemy Mortar Man is, if you don't see any of your uh, teammates over there. So uh, one little tip is uh, don't go directly to them, or as soon as they shoot, change trajectory. Um, so, because they're always going to be try to aim in front of where they think you're going to drive next. So, and once you're up on them like this, just stay as close to their vehicle as possible as they really can't do anything to you. And the best thing to do to take out these uh, mortars too is just to take shoot their generator. So if you can keep driving in circles and hit them in the generator, they'll lose both their cannons real quickly and just take out their cab. And, uh... Usually they'll try to self-destruct on you too, so just back up if they do that. And as long as you hit them recently, you'll still get your bonus points. Alright, we're sitting pretty good. We got uh, 28 points here. Let's go ahead and capture another uh, here at C. And our team is getting caught up. I mean, we've been behind a lot this match, but uh, as long as we can keep pulling points, we're up uh, 3 to 2 right now per kill. Still got both my guns, so I'm not going to bother self-destructing. But if I was much more damaged than this, or I lost a gun, I probably would go ahead and self-destruct here. As uh, being right between A and C, uh, so the starting location doesn't really hurt us too much if we just have to wait seven seconds. You know, it puts us a little bit closer to A. All right, let's go ahead and head over to A. Speaking of A. And I'm just kind of testing here to see if we do get any hits on somebody. 
I like to watch on the map too uh, the direction of my allies and if you see them spinning in circles or turning around that means they're probably right in the middle of a conflict and if you see that go ahead and you know shoot some s supporting fire over their way and see if you can't uh, hit up somebody there's somebody on fire there he is Let's see if we can get that there we go I think he got a little bit of a scratch on me but I was able to get that bonus kill all right, we're up at 35 points. And we're actually taking the lead now, too. We just gained another three. Putting it 38 versus 34, so uh, we're now ahead of the match. That's why you don't give up. All right, we're gonna head over to B and see if we can't take all the points. And I'll kind of keep an eye out here, too, just in case there's some opportunity uh, to take someone out. Come around the inside here just in case someone's waiting for us. But no, looks like it's another uncontested point. Alright, looks like most of her team is surrounding C, so they must be uh, fighting uh, the red team for C right now. Or at least that's where they all headed to. Alright, so now we got all four points, four kills. So if we can get a couple kills right now, that will really put us in good shape to win this match. Alright, I see the mortar man here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, hold my fire a little bit till I get a little closer to him. Because I don't want to give away that I see him. But uh, now I'm close enough where it doesn't matter. So I'm going to keep him busy real quick so he doesn't get any more kills on my teammates. And again, like I said, just uh, target his generator. Alright, there we go. That was a pretty good uh, team. Everybody did their job and no one gave up, which is nice to see. And uh, yeah, we gained uh, 41 points there. And again, most of that was from capturing bases. Got a couple of kills, 16 kills, uh, points for kills rather. So uh, yeah, not too bad. So that should get us the duck, as I think we only needed 26 points when we were going into the match. So uh, yeah, so if anyway, that's hopefully some uh, tips you can use. Another tip I didn't really talk about is just using the terrain to your advantage and using the dips and peaks and stuff like that to stay out of harm's way. All right, so we got our sold duck. Let's go ahead and put it on our vehicle. I need to find something to remove to uh, throw my duck on. So uh, let's see. I guess we can change my paint back to the bullet paint as I kind of like that better than the uh, cold camo. Let's just yank my horn off here real quick. And let's see, what is that called? All right, so we just type in here right to replace that piece. Let's say I need to get back over to storage. Here we go, and we'll type in the word right. And there it is, catheter. I'm not sure really what that is, but it's just kind of an extension to my hood on this build. All right, now let's find our duck. So I guess I just need to scroll down, or I guess we could just type in the word duck. There he is, soul duck. We'll stick him on our hood and take him out into battle. See if he brings us some good luck. Do we want to paint him too? We could. Uh, I wonder if he can be painted the same color as my vehicle. Ah, please carry me. I asked him earlier if he wanted to uh, join me for a battle. Is uh, He's always fun to play with. I'll just let him know I just earned my duck. I was going to see if he wanted to join me in a battle to get the duck. But I already got it, so no need. Alright, let's see. Let's go find my paint. I guess we need to get rid of that word. That's what's going on. Gun merchant. <laughs> That's kind of cool. He's got a bullet casing helmet now. But I think I like it better just the green way. So Nice. All right. Well, that is the event done. Uh, Battlefield event. It's a lot of grinding. Uh, but if you enjoy playing Battlefield, it's some nice little rewards on the side. Um <laughs> Actually, excuse me, I've had a couple of beers. I can't quite type right there. But uh, anyway, yeah, I like this Doug. Look at it. Isn't it? it looks awesome. The, the uh, second favorite duck of mine is probably the uh, punk duck with the metallic muncher mouth. I'm not really sure what that one's called. And then the regular old duck. Can't really beat that. Um, I think at one time I had the witch duck too, but I, I don't know if I sold that or what happened to it. Because I don't think I have it anymore. When I typed in duck, I didn't have it. All right, got first blood. Let's see. And on this build, I'm just using uh, one cyclone and two jewels with uh, some good cooling, and uh, of course stealth too. 
So whenever you're playing up against the bots, it's great to have stealth. Little tip there, um, if you ever want to get the bots off you, just tap stealth and they'll usually will switch targets. Not always, but because uh, I've noticed the AI is getting a little bit better. But especially at the beginning of the match too, if everybody's targeting you, you know, get around the corner, pop stealth, and you should be good to come back out and fight. Let him take down a bot before you. All right, let's see, we got one more guy here. Let's just target his cab or generator if we can find it. And I think that's the last guy. Yeah, there we go. Got all our kills. And uh, I think our soul duck brought us some luck in that one. Got MVP. And uh, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope it brought you some tips if you're going to be playing the battlefield. And if not, hope you enjoyed watching me grab the uh, duck from the special event. Um, anyway, stay safe during the pandemic. And uh, hope to see you guys again here soon on the Gamer Guy channel. All right. Bye-bye.